Kendall Smith throws it down low to Witherspoon. Gets the bucket to go, and he'll have a chance for one more. Eight left on the shot clock. This is Jones. Floats it up and in. And he'll go to the line for one more. You see the driver here is still able to slide on the outside of that attempted charge by Robinson, as you see right there. And Robinson kept drifting into him, and that's why the call came in. So McClung is the smallest man on the floor, also a very good rebounder. Little up fake to the 10, lays it in. Figueroa, no time left on the shot clock, has to heave it, and it goes. What a heave from LJ Figueroa. Warriors, that's their style, and you gotta be ready. Here, Louis in the corner for three, got it. Basically, catch one dribble and shoot. Taylor, quick trigger. Yes, sir. Three, two, three. And they're going to fire away, so defense is pretty easy to figure that out. Warriors have been pretty good in those late shot clock situations. If anything, a slob and a jam. There's Jay Huff. To have a seven footer up there and just throw it anywhere near. Oh, yeah, just get it up where he lives. Feed the big man, feed him. And I tell you what, McClung can do that very well. And Huff, he does love catching lobs. Offense starting to pick up for both teams. Robinson drawing contact. The boy misses for the first time tonight. And a chance to make it a one possession game. Fast and furious, that's LJ Figueroa. We've been waiting to see that one. An acrobatic finish on the other end of Weatherspoon. We'll do in transition, we'll kick it to Ferrari. Robinson off the glass, he'll have a chance for another three-point play and a chance to give Santa Cruz a lead. So you got to say, hey, this is, I don't know, is this the San Francisco Warriors versus the Rams kind of thing? <laughs> oh, big block from Boya. A fall away from Weatherspoon is short. Good hustle rebound by Jacob Evans. And Ledeau in the corner for three gives Santa Cruz the lead. Wow. The Santa Cruz team out of their 53. Here's Huff looking to pick up two in the paint, unable to do so. And Ledeau's all alone by himself and lays it in. And after this Warriors offense started very slowly, they certainly picked it up here in the second quarter. Now we have five of for the game, but Mason Jones, his energy, back at it, a chance for his third three-point attempt today. See what kind of defensive adjustments Miles Simon made. See Basket is in the passing lane. A wild layup from Ferrari is good. That was pretty. South Bay's led by as many as 10, and trailed by as many as five. Make it eight now. Yep, you're exactly right. So now you have to you know, play without fouling, but that's not gonna help a lot if you Santa Cruz really sped up that game on South Bay in the second quarter, scoring their 42 second quarter points. Same starters on the floor that started the game, McClung, Huff, Brown, Jones, and Dumboya. But hey, I'm not pushing them down low. I'm using my size and making something happen. Cross court pass to Brown, he dunks it. Give them a lot of credit. Shanti Brown leading the way for his team right now. It, it was at that time, and I'll tell you what, it hasn't changed at all now. Good move by Demboya to the 10. An extra pass. Brown in the corner for three. No way. Robinson, who was the hot hand in the second quarter, dishes it off. They, they are scrappy, and you have to love that energy and that effort there. Good defense, but better offense as Jacob Evans has the last two baskets. Approaching two minutes left to go. Mason being guarded very tightly by Weatherspoon. And eventually turns it over. The duo will pull up for three. Weatherspoon with three left on the clock. A fadeaway from the top of the key is good. And we will end up tied going into the fourth quarter. For the Warriors, only three for South Bay. 
Plum jumps underneath the hop. Well done. Bass, a couple opportunities at it, padding the stats, and finding two on the scoreboard. In the third quarter, we didn't see a whole lot of turnovers, only four in the first half for Santa Cruz. Lakers turn it right back over the lob. The jam. Rise up, LJ Figueroa. Catching it high, making it happen. Do you remember earlier when they threw it way over Figueroa's head down here? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Bass with that block right there. They're attacking and trying to get downhill like that. But he is 89%. I have a, he could be back there again uh, going down the stretch. Oh, there's a lot. Another one. Figueroa all over the rim here in the fourth quarter. Lakers deciding to go big against a very small Warrior lineup. Here's Pemberton in the lane. Adjusts his body very nicely and finishes at the 10. Junior aggressively up to get the board. Loses it on the way up. And now here come the Warriors running the floor. He likes that spot for three and mentioned he's a very good three-point shooter. 41% on the year. Now, I think you got to get the ball. You got to get the ball to the middle, but you got to make sure you have that playmaker in the middle. Pierre Louis, a spin move. Strong to the 10 for two which is 26 now, 27 on the game for Weatherspoon. Lakers need offense and fast. That'll help. Count the bucket and the foul for Paris Bass. Got to stop, now need another score. Jones, extra pass to Bass. Finishes at the 10, that's five straight for Bass. Here come the Lakers. Warriors gonna get the ball through one of those two high hands. Here's Robinson. He was hot in the second quarter. He easily gets to the bucket and lays it in. So a loss for the Lakers today will draw their record to 8-5. The win for the Warriors pushes their record to 6-9. Still some work to do for the Warriors to come back towards the top of the standing.